Welcome to the third part of my favourite Stuart 5A steam engine. The engine is running well now after some obsessive tweaking of the timing and I got something extra with it. I'll show that later on in the video. One final tweak of the eccentric and the engine is running very well. The beats are quite even, but the timing is not advanced at all. It's actually set just on top dead centre, but the engine appears to like it this way. And as you can both see and hear, it runs very slowly and very smoothly. If my voice sounds different today, I apologise. It's for two reasons. One is, I'm quite tired, because I was working into the early hours repairing my recording studio. And for anyone out there who has a technical understanding, I needed a replacement MIDI interface for the studio. And the only spare one that I had was a Focusrite Claret, 2 pre USB interface that I use for the vocals on these videos. Currently I'm using an old Focusrite Scarlet interface and it's just not as good. Anyway that's why my voice sounds different, I will have to buy another new interface. Back to the steam engine, I thought I would give it a clean because it was looking a bit grimy. And here's a good tip for cleaning old oil off steam engines, the best stuff I've ever found for it is methylated spirits. And while I'm doing this, I'll show an edited video clip of when I was building the engine. You will notice in this video that the lubricator is different. The lubricator that you see me working on here failed in the steam test. The one that's fitted to the engine in its current state is entirely different to this one, and it works. Here's an edited extract from the original video. I think the lubricator looks much better in brass. I've rounded the end of the arm, so that's a bit better too. You may also notice that I've made a pair of stainless steel driving pins, one for the eccentric end and one for the oil pump end. Sadly that lubricator really did fail, it was very poorly made, but this one's good. As I mentioned in the first episode of this series, I bought the engine back from a customer and I got something extra. A 10 year old bottle of single malt whiskey, very nice indeed. What more can a man want? A really nice example of a Stuart 5A and a bottle of Glen Morangi. I've left it in the picture just for scale to show how big the 5A is. And of course the combination of two such nice things together is always going to be good. I think it's time for a bit of slow motion. This clip is running at 25% of the normal speed. I really do love the sound of this engine and it runs far better using steam. At the end of this video I show edited extracts from the live steam test. Because this engine hadn't been run for about 3 or 4 years, it didn't run quite as well as I remember it running when I put some air into it on the bench. But after a while it did start to run a lot better. I think it's possibly that the oil that was gummed up inside the engine had been sort of removed by the new oil replacing it. As you can see and hear, it really is running very well now. I think it's time to show you the steam test from 2017. This is a steam test of the Stuart Models 5A steam engine that I've been rebuilding. And it's a beautiful afternoon, late afternoon to be exact, on the 27th of October 2017, and it's time to give it a run, using my trusty test boiler. Not much to look at, but it works okay. And this boiler sits on a camping stove base. Originally the camping stove base had a gas canister inside it, but that didn't work. I pipe it out to an external one. I'm not going to speak over the steam test, so that's it from me in this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you find it as entertaining as I did.
please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.